Hey, what's up, folks? This week, I'm building the Kingdom Key from Kingdom Hearts. That's right, it's the original Keyblade designed and forged in 3D printed form. The thing I like most about this project is the way the parts fit together. It's easy to take it apart, which is really nice when you want to take it somewhere. I wanted to make this an easy to build kit, so a lot of the parts actually have screw threaded ends. I made the files available to download so folks can make their own. Each part is printed in a specific color, mostly because I didn't want to do any post-processing. The filament I'm using has glitter inside, which gives the parts a nice shine to it. And at a distance, you really can't see the layer lines. I personally like the layer lines because I can show folks and they can tell it's 3D printed. It's a good example of showing quality parts straight out of the printer. The handle is the biggest part of the assembly and it just about fit on the Ultimaker S5. There's no support material needed for any of the parts, so they're ready to go right out of the printer. For the handle, I opted for heat set inserts. This way I can use screws to join the halves together. This took me a couple tries to get right, so I would suggest trying this on test parts first. Admittedly, I didn't use a proper tip for this, but I would suggest using a pan of ice to help keep the thing in place. I used a long screw to test the straightness, so at least you can go back and reheat if you need to. I designed registration keys into the handle so the grip snap fits in place. The ring at the end has similar keys but oriented the other way. The coupler near the top works the same way and features a screw threaded connector. The two halves clamp shut and then fasten together with screws. I like using hex drive screws because I tend to strip anything with Phillips. For the scale of this thing, I really like how it feels in the hand. I designed the keywards, or the little crown piece, to slide into the pipe. So this pipe has a V slot which keeps it in place. A cap is fitted on top and locks the key in place. The rest of the blade is made from tubing, of course, these all screw fit together. The collar piece then joins the handle assembly to the rest of the blade. Now you just need to do a little twist until the blade and the handle line up nicely, and it should be pretty straight. Designing this project was a great exercise and a lot of fun in making parts with screw threaded ends. And if you're looking to add lights and sounds to your props, Adafruit's got you covered, so be sure to check out the online shop. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.